scientists placed four monkeys in a cage with a step ladder in the middle. There was a bunch of bananas upon the step ladder. Monkeys felt the temptation and urged to climb the ladder to eat bananas. Whenever a monkey went to climb the ladder to eat banana, other three monkeys were sprayed with cold water. The process of spraying the cold water was repeated for anyone went to climb up to catch bananas. After a while, each time a monkey went for the banana, the other three monkeys attacked to prevent him to go up. Because going up to eat banana from anyone was putting them in difficult situation. The monkeys learned not to climb the ladder. But then one of the monkeys was replaced with a new monkey wearing a raincoat. Naturally this monkey was new and felt the temptation to go up for the banana. But he was customary attacked and prevented not to do the same. So the new monkey also learned not to climb the ladder. When the second monkey was replaced and attempted for banana, all the other three teams, even the one who never experienced the spray of cold water. The third monkey was executed in and then the fourth and final monkey. Whenever a new monkey tried to climb the ladder to eat banana, the other prevented him from doing so, even though none of them had ever been sprayed with cold water. When asked why that was, one monkey said, Oh, that just the way it is. Now the story in nutshell. Scientists placed four monkeys in a cage and a bunch of bananas on a step ladder. Naturally, all the monkeys felt the temptation and tried to climb the ladder to eat bananas. But whenever a monkey tried to go up, all other were punished with cold water. Later the monkeys started beating the fellow member if any one of them attempted to climb the ladder. Finally, they all realized that if anyone was going up would cause others to suffer from cold water. After a while, one of them was replaced with a new monkey wearing a raincoat. As expected, the new monkey tried to climb the ladder to eat bananas, but all other customary attacked and beat him. Then another one was replaced and the new one faced the same consequences as he tried to go up. Later, all monkeys were replaced and none of them knew the shower of cold water resulting from going up to catch bananas. But up to that point, they were all programmed to beat anyone attempting to climb the ladder for bananas. When asked why they used to beat anyone going up, they replied, We don't know. That's just the way things are done around here. So what's the conclusion? This is how an organizational culture is formed. We as an employee are programmed to do or not to do something despite unknowing the reasons. Our ancestors have passed on certain procedures and priorities that shaped our work related attitudes and behaviors. But we never know why we are doing, what causes us to do this and how better we can do and perform. We are following the work related values and norms in a given culture. How they were established, whether they are effective or ineffective, we never know. But we are a part of vicious cycle and to change the culture we have to take a pause and make an analysis of our priorities, principles, preferences and value system.